Hello and welcome to this video about applications for thin lenses. In this video we're going to look at correcting vision problems and how thin lenses help us with that. We'll look at uh, thin lens role in compound microscopes and also in refracting telescopes. So let's look at two very common vision problems. One, myopia or myopia. Oftentimes it's referred to as nearsighted vision and in this case a person can see uh, objects that are near or up close, but they are unable to get a clear image for objects that are further away. And here is what is happening uh, for this, this person. Remember that the cornea acts like a thin lens. It's on the outside of the eyeball. And a, a person with myopia uh, is looking at something really far away. And so if something's far away, we're looking at the uh, rays coming into the eye uh, fairly parallel. And for this person, the light from the distant object is focused in front of the retina. The retina is back here on the back of the eyeball, and uh, the focus is in front of that instead of on the retina. This can occur um, either because the eyeball is longer than normal or because the focal length um, for the lens is not sufficient to produce a clear image on the back of the retina. Nearsightedness can be corrected with the use of a diverging lens. This will allow the image to be focused on the retina where it should be. Now if we look at a different problem, hyperopia, that would be farsighted vision. In that case, distant objects can be seen clearly, but near objects are blurry. And um, reasons for this is that maybe the eyeball is too short or the muscles that adjust the shape of the lens cannot adjust it properly to focus the image. And here's what happens in the hyperoptic eye. We have the image being projected beyond the retina instead of on the retina. Hyperopia can be corrected by use of a converging lens. Right here you can see how the converging lens will enable the image to be focused on the retina where it should be. Now let's take a look at a compound microscope. In a compound microscope, we're going to combine two thin lenses. And when we do that, we think about it as the image formed by the first lens being treated as the object for the second lens. So it's sort of a two-step process. Let's take a look at the first um, lens right here and our object. So we're looking at some object through our microscope and uh, the image that's going to be formed by this object, as long as the object is beyond F, or the focal point, for this lens, we're going to get an image that is real and inverted right here. Here is the image for this object. Now this doesn't really help us out a lot. We wanted to magnify the image, right? Um, so we have a second lens. Here's the eyepiece lens. It is treating this real image as though it were now the object. And uh, this real image for this lens is going to be within the focal length. Um, and when it is within the focal length, it is going to create an image clear out here. It's going to be larger, um, a, a magnified image, and it will be a virtual image. For a refracting telescope, um, the formation of the images will be very similar to that of the compound microscope. In this case, however, we are going to look at a very distant object. And um, this diagram shows some things very clearly, but it, it definitely is not showing um, the fact that the distant object is going to mean that we have light rays coming in fairly parallel. And so our first image from this objective lens is going to be formed very, very close. Here's where the image is being formed here, but it will be formed very, very close to the focal point of that objective lens. Um, and uh, it will be inverted and very small. And this next step in this is that we want to magnify that. So the second lens used is called the eyepiece lens, and it is going to take that first image treat it as though it were an object, and then it will. Uh, this lens will be positioned such that this image, or now 
uh, the object for that lens is going to be within the focal length of that lens and therefore it will produce an image way over here a final image that will be uh, virtual and very magnified. So by placing an object uh, within the focal length of a uh, lens, of a converging lens, we can use that converging lens as a magnifier and then we will see a very magnified image. Advanced idea, what's the difference between refracting and reflecting telescopes? Besides in this picture, uh, look into that, see what you see. Also, what is an astigmatism with the eye and uh, what are ways that that is corrected for? Um, look into some of those ideas or maybe you have some of your own. Look forward to seeing what you come up with and we'll see you in class.